Hi! Welcome to tech to tinker This is George. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can use the BLE capability of ESP32 using MicroPython. BLE stands for Bluetooth Low Energy. BLE is very popular because it offers low power consumption which is useful for battery operated projects. This is achieved by constantly setting the Bluetooth into a sleep mode and once in a while process Bluetooth functions. As of this moment, Bluetooth Classic is not yet supported in MicroPython as far as I know. So we will use the Bluetooth Low Energy instead. For this lesson, we will only need an ESP32 development board for the demonstration. Now for the software part, I prepared here a source code for the demonstration. It is started by importing the pin class from machine module to access ESP32 pins. Then the timer, which will be used for the blinking of LED, slip MS from time module for creating some delays, and of course, the U-Bluetooth module for the BLE. Then I created here a class for handling the BLE transactions or BLE communication message exchanges. Now for this demonstration, we will use the onboard LED which is connected on GPIO2 and the buttons or the boot button which is connected on GPIO0. I will transfer it. Okay. So these two objects will be used to demonstrate both sending and receiving of data. One is output and the other pin is an input. Then we name the BLE as ESP32 BLE. This is the name that will be advertised by the BLE of the ESP32. Then for handling the buttons, I will use the interrupt. And when we press the buttons, it will call the buttons IRQ, which will toggle the state of the LED, will send the, this message through the BLE and also print through the REPL. So this one will call the interrupt function or interrupt handler, this one. When the boot button is pressed because this one is active low so the value will become zero when pressed and in our main loop we are just constantly checking if the message is read led from the ble and we will just print the ble message so that we can debug whatever the message we receive in the BLE and after that we clear the message so that it will not constantly running this if statement then we will print through the REPL this message LED is on if LED that value is 1 else LED is off and we will also send it to the BLE then we will just make some delays which is around 100 milliseconds let's run it and let's see it in actual so i will press the run button to execute this one okay now you see that the onboard led is blinking because where is that when it is not connected or it, or the BLE is disconnected, it will toggle the onboard LED state. Let me check if my Bluetooth is on. Let's pair a new device. Okay, we see that ESP32 BLE is found, which is available under available devices. We don't need to press or to pair with it. And I will use the serial Bluetooth 
terminal for the demonstration. I will click the menu, then devices. It is found in under the Bluetooth LE or BLE. I will select it so that it will connect. Connecting and now connected. And as you can see, the onboard LED stops blinking because it is now connected. As you can see here, LED that value equals 1. Now, we can send the read LED message here in the uh, main loop. If BLE message is read LED, which is this button, the value is read LED. So when I press read LED, it will read the state of the onboard LED. Now the LED is on. If I press the boot button, LED state will be toggled, sent in the REPL, and also in our Bluetooth serial terminal. If I read it again, it should now be LED is off. Again, read LED is off. If we toggle it again by pressing the boot button, the onboard LED is now on and if I read the state, LED is on. So I think that should be enough. You may follow this one. You may check the class with the init. It initializes the BLE. It will call this function, register and advertise. So that's pretty much of it. I hope you can learn something from this. As always, the source code that is in here including other information can be found in the companion blog post for this video at techtotinker.blogspot.com Links in the video description. If you have any question, please write your message in the comment box provided. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and share so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. Thank you and see you next time. God bless!